Okay, so now we've authored a bunch of variants, a bunch of different types of variants on this car. And now what we want to do is, is we need a good way to, to see them so I can test them and look at them. And we've talked about, you know, digging down and saying, okay, I know a variant is down here. I can click this thing and I can go down and I can see that there's a variant on the, um, on the wheel. Um, there is also the stage column, but it still requires you to kind of dig down in the tree and figure out where it is. There is yet another way to do this. If you go to our tools, go variants, variant presenter. Variant presenter is meant to be a way for you to just automatically scope the scene and check out where your variants are and just list them. So this is the variant presenter. And you can see here that right now we're in prim mode, we're viewing all. I have access from a prim card to go directly to the editor if I'd like. You can see I've, I've authored a few more variants on this car. If I was to go into component mode here and say select the wheel, I could say view selected. Oh, I'm sorry, I want to be in subcomponent. Subcomponent. Um, then you can see that I get this only the things that I've selected. So that's that's one way to do this. I'm going to go back to all. Another thing that I could do is I could look at these by groups. And right now I don't have any groups, but I have some things that could be considered groups. So, for example, I am going to take all of these wheels and add them to a group. And that new group is going to be called wheels. And under the hood, this is just a USD collection. And we're just utilizing that over here as a group. So, so now I can collapse and just kind of organize these things for, for presentation um, here. So I'm, I'm just going to make a few more while I am at it. So I'm going to make a group here, create group. I'm going to call this exterior options. I guess I can change this to wheel options too. That would make more sense. And I've got an interior option. And even though this is only going to be one group, I'm going to go ahead and make it in case we were ever to add any, anything else. And I can drag and drop, which is super nice. Interior options. We're going to call this um, create group. I'm just going to call this finish options. And then the wheel pose is just kind of there. I'm going to leave that, leave that there. Um, so there we go. Now you might ask, what is this lock for? Well, let's say for example, I've authored, I've authored some, uh, some variants, and I really, they don't need to be touched. They, they are the way they are, and I don't want anyone messing with them. Well, I can lock them, and that way nobody. Nobody can mess with them. Now you could still get to it from the properties panel or the stage column, but at least while you're here in the presenter, you can you can't accidentally nab it and do something with it without having to first unlock it. Um, so that's helpful. I prefer the groups tab so I can look at this like this. Now let's let's look at these options real quick. So we have first and foremost, we have these new ones that I've added. So I've got some doors. Got the hard top on and off. 
We got the wheels. Again, I like it turned to the left. Mean to the right, and clearly I have my labels mixed up, so I should go back and I should change that for the actual car, for the variants. I got those wrong. And we've got the the stripes, and I've got a light gray stripe, and I've got a light blue car. And if I was to go in here and look at the steering wheel from the waypoint, I could look at the um, the different kinds of steering wheels. Close this up. Now you might ask, well, why do you have to change both doors at once? Why do you have to change all four wheels at once? There is a way around this and it's called variance of variance. And we are going to get into that right about now. I go to groups. You can see now that we have we have rim type and I can put this up here under wheel options. Now the thing I'm going to do here is I now we don't really need to wor worry about the individual wheels. So I'm going to lock all those. So now when I switch through these, I'm, I'm switching them all at once. And we're going to stick with those because that one's cool.